All right, guys, so in this video, what I'm going to do is go over the web cache uh, for the unkey header. Uh, a couple of gotchas with this request, but essentially, um, we just need to try and replicate and identify the unkeyed aspects. So what I do, um, I open up a new tab in Chrome, but always transfer that over to, to Burp and create his own browser. Obviously you can use like a foxy proxy as an alternative, but it's always good to start off with a new, new uh, Chromium uh, browser. So I go directly to the um, to the root <coughs> and obviously I can see some traffic. So I right click here, click on to the guess everything in the power miner. Uh, and let that run. Uh, at the same time, what I'm going to do is transfer this over to Repeater. Um, and here, obviously, I'll be looking for any particular issues that pop up, and I'm expecting some to do so. Uh, meanwhile, if I go back to Burp and click into Proxy, uh, I've already done that. So if I do Repeater at the moment, I can actually see that my cache is actually being hit. So one important thing to identify is the dynamic cache buster, is that that must be disabled. If you have that enabled, you're never going to get that cache. So obviously if I'm sending a request and if I put in new parameters, send that cache, it's never been called before, but if I send it a second time, it will be hit, and evidently it will be cached that way. So I know that the keyed value is the parameter that's set. The unkeyed value is something that I'll find out um, pretty, pretty quickly. So with that understanding, if I go into the target, I can see the cache poisoning is actually looking at a particular header that is set to the X forwarded host. So I can use this with the understanding it's going to be the unkeyed value. I'm going to put that in the cached entry. Uh, for now, I'm just going to write you know, some random string concept, making sure there's two lines after the request to stop the get request. And I can see here it's actually been called as a source. So with that, what I'll try and do is make an endpoint on my exploit server. Uh, so I'll grab the host name and copy that over. And obviously if I run that, it's still cached. You can still see that that's embedded. Obviously you can see the X cache on line five. What I need to do is just put in some random parameter that's not been called before. And that hopefully should unkey it which it has, you can see here on line six, the X cache is now missed. So with that information, uh, just popping back to the um, exploit server, if I'm adding in the body, the script to alert and finding that URI, which is the resource JS tracking JS, put that in there, give that a store, and then pop back to the server. Obviously, I want to clear it and replicate as if someone's just hitting the the host. It has to be a viable endpoint, essentially. Okay, so I'm getting this miss now, which is good. And then if I run it again, I get a hit. And you can see here the actual source, I'm making that call out. So just popping back. Um, yep, yeah, just pop back to the browser, see if that is being responsive. Actually, it's going to be one of these scenarios where your burp lab may not be in the healthiest environment. So give that a, uh, give that a refresh. Okay, now it's up and running again. So pop back to the repeater, make a call. Yeah, so I see the X cache, the script has been run. So this is the scenario whereby it's going to take a few times. What I'm trying to 
basically do is um, poison the cache on the server so when someone then makes a call directly to the to the root of that website um, that they will capture that source and call that endpoint and again it's it's essentially a, a waiting game for this scenario I would typically leave it around about 30 seconds if not I think the application is around about 30 seconds but give it another go obviously it won't harm things yeah sense of impatience and there it goes if I go back to the screen Life is solved, nice and easy. But yeah, the cash booster is something to be aware of um, if you're not getting cashed. Very good, thanks guys, thank you for your time.